So another type of geometry that you may encounter are STL files. We import geometry, you will find faceted, STL files are faceted geometries. So select STL here, go to our geometry files and I'll select my geometry files. Typically, if there are part names, I like to take them from the file, but you can create your, generate your own. This uh, geometry file does not have any extra parts. It should have only one part, which is called mesh one. See a couple of curves here have been created and I switch it on shaded. You see that the geometry looks exactly like before. We don't have the different surfaces. In fact, this is all imported as one surface. So if I go to parts, create part and want to create my part, it will select the whole surface, which is not very helpful. So with STL files, very often what we need to do is we need to split the surfaces into separate surface, the surface into separate surfaces that we can then use to um, select our boundary to, to create our boundary condition surfaces boundary condition patches and to assign different meshing parameters to later so what i can do here is let me see where that is um let's go to the is it in here or is it in repair geometry in the repair geometry menu you will find this one build diagnostic topology so if i click that and i say filter curves then that means it will create curves at a certain feature angle a good angle usually is something between 45 and 90 degrees this is a very benign geometry, so you don't need to play around with this too much. And click apply, see how it has created these points, uh, these curves. And it also has created points on these curves. Just I hope that's points and not interruptions on the curve. Uh, let's see if it works. I mean, if not, if that's an interruption and it, the next step doesn't work, then we'll need to play with the angle. So now create part, select. Okay, that worked nicely, so we don't need to play around with the angle. So it rec recognized that this is now a separate surface and we give that the name internal carotid artery. Apply. Okay, same for the next one. External carotid artery. Apply. Now we need to turn it around. Like this one, common carotid artery. Apply. Okay. And this one should be all the rest. So that's all the rest surfaces. I'll create a new one nonetheless because that one contains all the curves and points, which I don't necessarily want in that part. So now all the visible parts go into the wall part. And switch that on. Did I put the points and the curves in there as well? No, I don't have curves, so it's all fine. So I only had surfaces to begin with, so I now can delete the original part. And I have my four parts in this. Oops, delete the wall now. No, nope. need to rename that. Not sure why I didn't call that wall. 
thought I called it wall earlier. Must have forgotten to hit return. So common carotid, external, internal carotid, and wall. So that's my different surfaces for this model. And that means, okay, save project as. Go to the file, call that carotid STL. And that is the geometry prepared for the STL file. The meshing steps are then basically the same for both types of prepared geometry, and I'll go through those in a separate video.